darn good. Okay, I hear. I haven't seen you for two years. But what can James be better by the time he's done? If he if he plays better than Rick did, then he'll be better. You know, that's the that's the that's the one way we're going to be able to measure it. You know, uh, sitting here, I couldn't, I can't tell you. You know, at this particular point in time, he's got to prove it on the field. Did, what, James, did James come more? I'm sorry. I'm sorry uh, did James? He, I know he has some quarterback in his life. I think his dad played quarterback at, in college or something like that, and he played quarterback all through high school at a high caliber pass offense. Did he come more ready made, as you know, mechanically and the way he thought and the way he sees the game? Well, yeah, his dad. His dad, uh, you know, played high school quarterback, or excuse me, and college quarterback, and his uh, grandfather coached high school football. Um, and he may have been a quarterback as well. So. Um, when James came, he could, which I never saw him do, obviously in camps or in seven on sevens or anything like that, uh, uh, at camp, they um, he could he can operate under the center better than most guys that came out of a spread offense like he came out of, right. uh, you know, could, you know, for instance, you know, when when uh, when Drew Tate first came, you know, he. You know, he had told me that he hadn't done a lot of this, you know, this stuff since he was in, I don't know, seventh grade or something, you know, something along those lines. But, but James always trained under center when they're doing extra drills and things like that. When they'd he'd work with his, you know, I guess his dad and his grandfather. So, uh, you know, he's fortunate in that regard to, to have had that. And he hasn't had the transition. It was a t that was because that was probably Stanzi's toughest transition initially, you know, uh, footwork-wise. Not being in the gun every play, basically. So he's he's sort of he has quarterback. He had quarter. You didn't have to break him down and build him back up, or did you? I don't. But you you, know, you, are, you never break anybody down and build them back up totally at this level because mm -hmm. you don't have that kind of time in, in, in a lot of respects. But James was, you know, I guess it would suffice to say James was very good mechanically in all aspects of his game. His feet. You know, and and with his uh, you know his, his throwing mechanics as well. Coach Cavante's name has been thrown around a lot and as a guy that can step up in that receiving core. We don't know a whole lot about him. What have you seen that makes you believe, that if you do, that he can step up in that way? Well, I mean, you know, right now he's a guy that's getting a lot of reps, um, but you know, he's uh, he's got a long way to go. He's a work in progress, and. Um, you know he, he's uh, you know number one he, he's got he's he has to um, nail the system down and that he, he he doesn't have that down right now he's got to work to you know get that down first so that he can operate you know at full speed uh, because you know, receivers have to operate at full speed um, if you don't know the system you don't know the protections and the hots and the sights and things like that. You'll, you'll be going half speed all the time or running the wrong routes. So number one, he's got to get the system down uh, before we can even talk about any of the other stuff that, that you were talking about. And, and, uh, but he is tough, and he has great, he has great desire to, uh, uh, to excel, and, um, uh, and, and, he, uh, and he, has, he does have skill. And he's, you know, he does have skill. What about CJ? What kind of progress does he make? He's making he's making good progress, you know. Uh, Eric Johnson's you know done a great job with uh, you know with, with all those guys, especially with <coughs> CJ. You know, C, C, and, and CJ's growth, you know, uh, you, you know, just to go back to you know uh, Cavante, um, you know, he all, was was totally his growth was totally dependent on him, you know, learning the system and knowing the system well. Now that he does, he you know he can operate a lot differently. And with a lot more speed and a lot more confidence, which means you can be a lot more aggressive. And that, you know, that that's the thing that's helping him the most right now.